All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are live. Welcome to another edition of Just Slap Tennis Companion, your boy, Stevie Dukes. And listen, folks, we got an absolute banger tonight, all right? We got Iga, we got Camilla. We are at the Australian Open, second round. This match is going to be a good one, all right? Quickly, before we start, let's get to a little housekeeping, a little housekeeping for everybody. Um, for the new joiners, for the people that aren't watching, guys, we're at 1390 subscribers. Thank you so much for all the support. For anybody that's new, do me a favor, hit that button. All right, join the family. Join the family just like Joseph from Australia has joined us. All right, and uh, and uh, let's get it going. Let me fix the score a little bit here because you know what? It's not zoomed in correctly. Let's fix that. Is that any better? How are we looking over here? All right, we're looking. We're looking. Um, also, predictions. We got to get into predictions. Um, you know, this one, listen, Iga's playing on another level. I think she's she's just... She just really there's I think there's a clear separation between her and the majority of the uh, women's players out there. I'm going to say Iga in two. That's it. Iga in two. Um, comment below. Let me know your predictions. Uh, let me know in the chat. And uh, without further ado, let's get it going. Uh, Iga to start serving us off here. 15 love. And uh, I expect her to be super aggressive um, from the get. I'm expecting a lot of big forehands, moving her side to side, and uh, and really punching short balls, just like in this case. All right, that ball floats out. Thirty love for uh, for for Iga. Oh, look at Joseph. Joseph's getting specific. Iga six two six two. I like it. I like it, Joseph. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Throw your love here. Let's see if uh, Azario can do anything. All right. Kick up the tee. Good return there from Azario. And that forehand. I mean, just the monster of a forehand cross court. Too good. 40 love. Iga. About to get a hold here to uh, to start us off here in this uh, opening first set. Guys, we were supposed to do the Bertini-Murray match last night. I was planning on it. I was planning on doing that stream. And then guess what happens? Guess what happens? We start the stream. Stream randomly interrupts. The first set's already started. And I'm like, ah, you know what? We're already too late. You know, maybe we missed this one. Hopefully, Hopefully, it's not that great of a match. Turns out it was an absolute banger. It was an absolute banger that due to technical difficulties, your boy Stevie couldn't stream, all right? But um, it's unfortunate. We're going to make it up today. We're also going to do the Nadal match. So, um, But Iga gets the hold here to start us off. And uh, this is really going to be the first test right here. Is This is how – we're going to see here how um, Azario is going to set the tone for the rest of the match. Can she get an easy hold here? Can she set the tone that it's going to be competitive? Or is he going to, going to come out here and get a break – and uh, and really kind of scare Azario a little bit. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Comment in the chat. Let me know. Break or no break? Break or no break? Oh, Joseph, I'm always specific. I have some hot takes also. What are these hot takes, my friend? Let me hear these hot takes, my friend. Mateo must be spitting chips that backhand. Yeah. It's tough. Losing a match like that, I feel like you just don't get over it for a while. Even if you've, even if you've gone through it before. I mean, it's just it's too tough. But uh, Azorio starts serving here in, the, in her opening first service game. Nice little slice out wide there. Oh, and with a little slap, a little slap forehand down the line. Let's go. And a cheeky little fist pump. Let's go. 15 love. Massive. Massive. That's the tone we want. We need to be competitive here. Osorio's got to be competitive. And, and she has to be aggressive. She can't let Iga dominate her. We need the first serve percentage to be high because Iga, like right now we're going to see, is just going to crush these second serves. Second serve to Iga's forehand looks like it was a let. Let's run it back. Let's run that second serve back. Again to the forehand. Iga now being the aggressor. 
Osorio hitting most of the shots down the middle. Eager goes forehand cross on this one. A little cross-court forehand exchange here. Oh, and another slap forehand down the line. And another slap forehand down the line. Let's go. This is the tone we wanted. We needed to come out here. Osorio needed to come out here and make it competitive. And that's what she's doing from the very beginning. That's what we needed. That's what we needed. It's perfect. Guys, does anybody out here think that Azorio can get the upset of a lifetime here? Because you just hit a couple of slap forehands. And if there's a time that you could possibly think that, it's probably right about now. Because I feel like as the match goes on, uh, that chance is kind of going to be slimmer and slimmer. Lexi, how are we doing? What's going on? Uh, what did Joseph say here? Joseph, Rafa wins only one more slam before retirement. Interesting. You don't think he's got two French in him? You don't think he has two more French in him? I, someone told me, and this is just this is just pure speculation. All right, there's absolutely no facts to back this up. But someone told me that they thought that Nadal was going to retire from tennis at this French Open. Now, I don't know. I don't know if you want to believe these ridiculous rumors. Um, I don't because I think he's got a couple more Grand Slams in him, Joseph. I think he's got at least two. All right, I'll see your one and I'll raise you two. Alex Zverev said that. Thanks for correcting me, Alex. Thanks for correcting me. If you guys don't know, Alex is the other co Alex is the other co-host of this channel. And if I know Alex, I know that Alex wants you guys to subscribe. All right. So, guys, if you're not gonna subscribe for me, subscribe for this guy, Alex, who keeps calling me an idiot and and makes me feel horrible about myself. Zverev is not you. <laughs> All right. How are we looking here? How are we looking? 30-15, and, and Osorio scrambling from the back, obviously Iga being super aggressive. And that's where it gets dangerous because now even if even if, even if Osorio is able to defend well, my issue is that Iga now is going to put her in these ultra-defensive positions where Osorio is going to go for some really low percentage shots, especially on the forehand side like we saw in that last point, and just hit a ton of errors, which, as you know, against Iga, you can't do it. You can't do it. Um, nope. This year's French. I hope I'm wrong. You New Yorkers. You got some say for, uh, about New York there, Joseph? All I know is Osario has game point here. All right. Let's see if, let's see if she can make something happen here. A nice hold. That's all I want. Just a, just a cheeky hold. Let's get a cheeky hold here. By the way, Iga is my pick to win the Australian Open. And uh, I know there's some people that uh, uh, disagree with that, but um, I think she's got it. I, I really do. I think she's got it. I think if you're going to have to bet on somebody, Iga's probably the top of the list. Nice little forehand exchange here. Iga changing directions. Osario short backhand. Iga changes, goes down the line. Osario goes for the forehand cross, and it is wide. It is wide. One game point squandered. Squandered that game point. Just squandered. Now it's deuce. Now it's deuce. Now Iga steps it up. Now it gets dangerous because if Osario goes down a break early, that's, that's dangerous, you know? Joseph says, you guys crack me up, bro. I love it here. Joseph, we love having you here, pal. We love having you here. Appreciate the support, my friend. All right, Deuce, big point. Massive point. Huge. Osario goes slice up the T. Oh, slice back in there from Osario, trying to change it up. Goes back in down the line. Iga just moving her side to side. And Osario makes the forehand error. And, uh, well, wouldn't you know it? Azario's got break point. I'm sorry. <laughs> Correction. Iga's got break point. Azario's facing a break point. Um, all right, quick, quick in the chat. Let me know. Break or no break? Quick. Type away. Break or no break? Does she get the break right here? Go. I say she gets it. I say she gets it. But what, what do I know? I don't know much. And she gets it. All right, well... You know what? That's a tough start. That's a tough start for Rosario. Um, 
to go down an early break. We needed a hold to set the momentum. We needed a hold to set the momentum. And now she's playing from behind. It's uh, That's tough. That's tough. But at least now maybe there's a little bit less pressure. You could also make that argument. It's a little less pressure. It's like, okay, you know what? We got a couple games under our belt. Iga's the, Iga's the number one player in the world. Okay. Um, let's see what we can work with here. There's also that. Um, have you seen Benchitz lately? She's improved now. She's working uh, with Tarsanov. Interesting. I did not know that. I did not know she got a new coach. Um, well, let's see. Let's see if it's working this tournament. Um, break. Hello, Dad. Fluffy Dad. Joseph, what's going on? What's happening, Jane? How are we doing? I'm glad you can make it out here. Um, are we not feeding the kid today? Is that what's happening? Are we just not feeding uh, your child and, and you're choosing to watch just live tennis? Is that is that what's going on right now? Um, all right. Let's see it here. Iga, 30 love up. This is what she does. This is what she does. This is what Iga does. She's constantly there. She doesn't give you a second to breathe. And all of a sudden, you're, you're down 3-0. And you're like, I don't even, I haven't even warmed up. I still have to stretch a little bit. This is what she does, folks. All right, let's see it here. 30 love. Last serve, 168 kilometers an hour from Iga. Let's see here. Oh, big serve up the tee there from Iga. Iga goes forehand cross. She And look at that. Another unforced error on the forehand side from Azaria. She's missed a couple of those uh, cross-court forehands wide. A couple of them. It's not her first. Um, 40 love here, folks. 40 love. Sviatek making quick work of this. 12 points for Iga, three for Azaria. That's wild. Big serve up the tee there for Iga. Iga goes forehand down the line, follows it at the net, forehand volley. Oh, and a nice pass from Azaria. Let's go. I need more fist pumps. I need more fist pumps from Azaria. I need more energy. I need to get hyped up. Okay, and I, I want to see if we can if we can fight to bring this game back to Deuce. That's what I want to see. Wow. Wow. This is crazy. Guys, first of all, Iga held, so that's great. 3-0 up. Azaro's gonna make something happen here. But we have a guy who just joined the stream who I feel like I've heard of before, but just I don't know where he is. I don't know where he is. Where you been, ghost? How are we doing? Um, what's going on? And I'm glad you like the button up. Thank you. I thought, you know what? We got, we're, we're, we're commentating on a number one player in the world here. Okay, we got to dress it up a little bit. We have to dress it up a little bit today. It's a, it's a big day, you know? Um, glad to have you here, ghost. Glad to have you. Cello hack says boring. Cello hack, listen. All right. I know you. I know you very well. You like the underdog. You're, you're an underdog guy, Cello Hack. Okay. So I need your help. I need your help rooting for Azario here. We got to make it a little interesting and you got to help me root for the underdog. Even though I think Ego is going to win this tournament. So, um, Ghost been on other streams lately, hamming it up. Ghost. You got time for the streams, but you don't got you don't have time for just slap tennis. Come on. I met a girl. Okay, got it. That makes sense. She's probably like, why do you spend so much time watching that random channel that has a thousand three hundred and ninety-one subscribers? By the way, if we can get that to fourteen hundred, that'd be huge. Um, <laughs> why are you watching that that random channel when you could be spending time and uh and hanging out with me? Completely understood. Um there he is, Quality Shot Tennis. How we doing? Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you. All right, let's see if uh, let's see if Ozario can make something happen here. All right, we got to get on the scoreboard. We got to get on the scoreboard here. We got to make something happen. Let's 
I feel like she's hitting too many balls down the middle, to be honest. And then Iga's the one really changing direction. Backhand unforced error there from Iga. And let's go. There's the fist pumps. There are the head nods. That's what I want to see, Osario. That's it. That's what I want to see. Um, yeah, Sabalenka is a good pick as well. I didn't notice. Look at Steven as young professional garb. I appreciate it, Jane. I appreciate it. You know what? Like I said, number one player, you got to dress it up sometimes. You know what I mean? You got to dress it up. You got you to show respect. I feel, I feel that the match to watch is center. That's a good point. But we also were doing the Nadal match after this. You know what I mean? So we wanted to, we wanted to kind of mix it up. We have, this is actually the first uh, women's match we've done, um, I think, of the tournament. So that's how it is. Um, Joseph, can't wait for Emma against Coco. See, this is going to be a tough one. I got to be honest with you. I really wanted to do that match, but it's, it's late. That match is late. And um, unfortunately... I got to be up early tomorrow. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that match tonight, but we're going to do the Nadal one. So um, it is what it is. Um, it, I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's not looking great right now. It's not looking great for Zario. She's down another two break points here. And uh, and Iga just, uh, this is what she does. This is what she does. I feel like Osario is also making the errors, but also not being aggressive enough. And I feel like you can't have it. You can't have it both. You can't have it both ways. You know what I mean? Like, I'm fine with you making errors. For crying out loud, this is called Just Slap Tennis. That's our channel. But you got to be a little more aggressive here. I, I need less balls down the middle. And I need you stepping in a little bit more. Okay? And uh, that's what you got to do. Otherwise, Iga is just, she's going to be all over you. She's going to be all over you. Um, recruitment of an Aussie needed here. Well, listen, we'll, 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 uh, I'm sure there'll be more Aussies that are joining. Right, comment below. Anybody else, any out of the 18 people watching, anybody else from, uh, from down under? Um, look at, see, this is what I'm talking about. Look at Azario. That's what I'm talking Discipline, being a little bit more aggressive here. And saves two break points. I think this is her game. All right. I think she's going to get a hold here. I think we're getting a hold here, folks. Let's get it. Let's get a hold here. Just get on the scoreboard, you know, make things interesting. I mean, it's like, it's like she doesn't even know that I dressed up or something. Like I literally dressed up for this match. The least Rosario can do here is get on the scoreboard and get a hold. Come on. Um, but, um, all right. Well, all right. I mean, we're going to keep making foreign errors like that, but at least she swung out on that one. At least I was a little bit more aggressive there. I'm, I'm fine with that miss. I'm okay with that miss from Rosario, but nonetheless, she's, she has, she's facing a, uh, a break point now. So it is what it is guys. Thank you for everybody that's watching right now. Appreciate all you guys' support for any newbies. For anybody that's just stumbling on, what is this? What is this channel? What? What? Who is this guy in the tiny corner talking like he thinks like he knows something? My name's Steven. This is Just Lap Tennis, the Power Found Number One Tennis Channel in the game. Do me a favor and do yourself a favor and subscribe and join to the number one family that's out there right now. That's the Just Lap Tennis family. All right, you hit that subscribe button, you become blood for life. That's how it works. Um. All right. Well, listen. For zip. Uh, it is what it is, you know, it is what it is. It's, uh, it's tough. It's tough. You know, you, that's what happens. You're going up against the number one player in the world. That's what happens. All right. And, uh, she's, she's got to find something to do now. You know, honestly, I think she's going to break before she holds. That's my crazy prediction of the day. I think Osario breaks before she holds crazy. I know. Um, Chell Hack says twenty dollars stickers if Azario wins the set. <laughs> I think uh, I think even if you you could bump that up to a million dollar sticker because I don't I don't based off how this match is going right now I don't think it's going to happen either way. Um, but uh, I I appreciate the thought there, uh, Chell Hack. All right, here we go. 
Come on, Azario. Let's get a break here. Let's get a break here. We need a break. That's what we need. We need a break here, folks. You know? Holding is going to be difficult, but maybe we can get a break. Yeah, she's just rolling the ball. Iga's stepping up. Iga's like inside the baseline. But look at this. She's make, she makes a mistake. She makes a mistake. All right. Okay. Well, now listen. You got, you got a little fortunate there with that backhand uh, unforced error down the line. Right now. Right now is the time to be aggressive. Let's hope for a first serve miss here. And I just need a slap return. That's what I need. I need a slap return from Azario. That's it. Nothing crazy. Just a perfect, you know, 100 mile an hour forehand right in the corner. That's, I'm not asking for a lot here. Oh, that's a big forehand. Short ball for Azario. Azario hits down the middle. Volley. And now Iga's there. Goes for and passes. Yeah, see, like that volley, Azario, we got to call a spade a spade. All right, because that's what we do on this channel. That's an atrocious volley. Okay, that reminds me of Alex Makatario's volleys. I got to be honest with you. That's what that reminds me of. That reminds me of the co-host of this channel's volleys. That's what that reminds me of. But it is what it is. Um, Sakari's down. Whoa, really? That's uh, that's pretty crazy. Is she really? How do you like them apples? Um, didn't Alex beat you like a drum while, while wearing a Grinch costume? I have no idea who Alex beat while wearing a uh, Grinch costume. I'm pretty sure that was, uh, uh, that was Santa Claus because, uh, I definitely was not in that suit. Um, but, um, because if I was playing that match, it would have been, it would have been lights out Santa. I don't know. Santa's got, Santa's a busy man. He's got a lot of stuff to do. So I don't think it was, I don't know, you know, but, um, All right, we got a break point chance here. Guys, we got a break point chance here. What did I say? What did I say? I said, Osario's going to break before she holds. What did I say? We got a break point chance here, all right? I'm just saying, if she breaks here, I look like a genius. So if she breaks here, you have to subscribe because I called that shit, okay? That's the deal. That's the deal we're, we're running with here. You got to subscribe because I said she's going to break before she holds. Now she really has to break here. She really does, because otherwise she's making me look really bad. Come on, let's get a break. Let's get a break. Big serve there. Decent return. Angle backhand there from Iga. Backhand down the line from Azario. Azario breaks. Let's go. Let's go. What did I say? What did I say? I called that. I called that. Come on. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Nice little break there. All right, we got one of the breaks back. All right, now we just got to serve over 60 miles an hour, and maybe we got a shot at holding here. All right, come on. She can do this. You know what I mean? She can do this. But um, that's that's crazy. That's pretty – That's pretty. Uh, that's pretty awesome. I feel like, I don't know if you guys realize this, but when you have like a heavy favorite versus an underdog, like a really, 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 really big underdog, for some reason, they find it easier to break than to hold. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because they're the, 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 the player that's supposed to win is kind of like more relaxed on their serve because they're expected to win or they should win. Just, just thinking. Just thinking. Jane, I'm very glad you said that. I'm very glad you said that because guess what? That's going to be the very next video we shoot. The very next one. We have a couple in the arsenal that we're going to be posting first. But then in terms of the next video that I turn the camera on, that isn't a stream and talk about, is that recommendation that you gave. That's going to be happening. 100%. 100%. Um, 
Sakari's struggling. Wow. Um, Santa got wrong footed a lot. It was very cute. Listen, Santa, Santa had no sleep that night. He had delivered all the presents. He had no sleep. Okay. Mrs. Claus was driving him up a wall. All right. And he still showed up. All right. And I, I, I listen, I didn't watch the match closely, but I'm pretty sure that there was a couple, a couple of hooks here and there from, from, from the Grinch. So, I mean, you guys can watch that video yourself and you let me know. All right. Cause it's on tape, but just saying, just saying. All right, here we go. Azario down low 15 on her serve here. It's uh, it's going to be a tough one. Also, whoever's subscribing, thank you. We uh, we just got to 1393. Guys, if you do end up subscribing, comment in the chat. Let me know. Introduce yourself to the to the Just Laugh family, and um, and yeah. All right. It's tough. You go down a you 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 break the number one player in the world, and then you go down love thirty on your service game. It's tough. I think Osario's first ball after her serve needs to be a slap every time. Get the serve in and just slap it. There's literally nothing to lose at this point. You're on the scoreboard. You didn't get bageled. You're good. You can swing out now. Why not? You know, it would be awesome if you tried out some of the techniques demonstrated in the smashes, really break down the form. Well, Jane, the funny thing is, is I happen to be an expert in, uh, in breaking rackets. So um, I, I don't even need to watch the video. I can, I can show you those. I can give you a full lesson on it if you want. I mean, you know, I charge a, a, a pricey penny to teach people how to break their tennis rackets, but I mean, maybe, maybe I can, you know, since you're a loyal Just Slap supporter, maybe, uh, maybe you get like a free lesson. How about that? Um, all right. Benoit Pair is a racket smashing master, 100%. 100%. He knows. I mean, he learned from me. I was, I, I've given Benoit multiple lessons. Um, he's actually one of my best students. Um, all right, 30 all here. Little, nice little comeback in this game here. Nice little comeback for, for Azario. We can, uh, we can make something happen here, guys. I think we can make something happen here. Let's do it. I missed first serve. This second serve is this is scaring me a little bit. Just the way Ego's standing, yeah, you got to take another toss on that serve because I think she saw how Ego was standing and it was like, okay. Oh, she went for the backhand. She went for the backhand down the line, missed it. All right, Ego's got a break point chance here. Ego's got a break point chance here, folks. It's not looking great. It's not looking great. Let's see here. Let's see if she can fight another break point off. Let's see if she's got it in her. Why is she serving so much to Iga's forehand? I don't get it. Am I missing something? Oh, Iga doing a really nice job of moving around. Now runs around the back and goes inside out for a winner. Too good. Just too good. It's simple. It's just too good. It's just too good. That, that was really well done by Iga there. I don't know why uh, Azario is serving so much to Iga's forehand, especially on the ad side. To, like, you do, just open up the court a little bit. Open up the court, try to run around a backhand for an inside-in shot. I mean, that's – I would have rather done that than go to the forehand and then have to hit like a, you know, a defensive backhand, and now you're – all of a sudden you're out of the point. But uh, nonetheless, Iga here serving for the – match no well kind of <laughs> she's kind of serving for the match she wins the set it's you know it's pretty much done but no she's serving for the set oh look at that look at that beauty beauty of a passing shot little dink just a little dink over the net and uh it was good enough 
Very well placed. Maybe we get another break here, guys. Maybe we get another break here. What do you think? Comment if you think uh, Azario gets a break here. Comment, let me know if you think Azario can get a break here. If you think she can't, don't comment. Keep your negativity to yourself. I'm just kidding. You can comment as, you can comment as much as you want. As long as um, as long as it's you know not 99% about Alex's looks, you can comment as much as you want. What happened there? She let that ball go? I guess Iga thought that ball was going out and uh, and let that one go. But look at this now. Nice little opening. Love 30. Osario Osario basically is just breaking and she's just got to find a way to hold. It's like a it's like the opposite for her. She's just got to hold once and she'll win a set. Break every time, hold once. I like it. New strategy. Wouldn't recommend it, but that's the strategy that we're running with today for Osario. Just a ton of breaks and one hold. Easy. A oh, big serve up the tee there from uh, from Iga and then punishes that forehand inside out. Too good. Too good. All right, 15.30. Alex looked great in green curls, just saying. Where is my love, Alex? Alex is, uh, Alex is doing really important things at the moment. He's uh, editing a bunch of videos that we can post for you guys so you laugh and uh, and uh, keep on watching. That's what he's doing. Me, I'm just chatting shit, watching some tennis. Clearly, one person has the important job and the other one, um, you know, does what he does. All right, 30 all. Lexi blocked me again. Oh, I hope she, she enjoyed it uh, as much the second time around. <laughs> she unblocked you just to block you again. There, ghost. That's what happened. All right, here we go. 30 all here. Come on, let's get, let's get this point. I want a break point chance. I want another break point chance. Second serve. You got a second serve look now, Zarya. You got a second serve look. Just slap the shit out of it. <laughs> Just go for it. Don't even try to rally. Just go for it. Swing for the fences. All right. All right, Iga misses the forehand down the line there. And look at this. Osario's got a break point chance. Osario's got a break point chance. Break point chance. Let's go. Here we go. All right, miss for serve. We got a second serve look here. We got a second serve look. Oh, we really, I mean, a break would be absolutely massive. Uh, Iga moving her around. Short ball for Iga now. Iga goes down the line. Oh, a lob. That's a good lob. Get in. Get into the net. What are you doing? A drop shot. Yeah, I mean, she won it. I don't know how she won that point, but she won it. I don't know how she won that point, but she won it. Another break. What is happening right now? What's going on here? I mean, she just needs to keep breaking at this point. Just keep doing it. Keep keep the breaks coming. Keep the breaks coming. Just keep the breaks coming. That's it. Just keep it coming. 
That's all we need to do. Um, uh, let me guess. Steven didn't do laundry, and this is the last T-shirt left. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yeah, I have one dress shirt. All my T-shirts, all my black T-shirts are gone. All the black T-shirts are gone. All the Fordham merch is gone. And we just have uh, we just have one dress shirt left, and that's that's honestly it's not a, it's not a bad guess. I told you, number one player in the world. We're gonna wear we're gonna wear a dress shirt. We're gonna make it happen. Just slap the shit out of it, Stephen Duca, host of Just Slap Tennis in the year of our Lord twenty twenty three. Listen, there's been worse advice given. That's all I'm gonna say. There's been worse advice given. Um, it's okay, Stephen. You could do a North Shirt stream. We won't judge. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to blind anybody. So we're not going to go with that approach. Um, theory, Iga has downshifted and she's cruising and working on certain aspects of her game because she knows she can close it out at any time. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's a good theory. I have a better theory. Uh, Iga is thinking about collecting this check and who she's going to play next round and forgot that, Oh wait, I'm serving for the set. And, uh, that's why she got broken. I mean, that's my theory. I think it's better, but you know, you let me know ghost. Uh, Lex says, I prefer this look, Steven. I didn't know I was going for a look, but, um, all right, maybe I'll just wear dress shirts every time. Maybe, you know what? Maybe I'll just do these streams in a three piece suit every time. Why not? Why not? You guys want three-piece suit? Three-piece suit it is. Um, with cufflinks and a pocket square. Why not? Okay, now here comes the challenge. Azario holding. <laughs> here comes the challenge now. The break was easy. The two breaks back-to-back, -back, those were easy. Here comes the challenge, getting a hold. Another unforced error there from Zario. She keeps missing down the middle. I don't. I don't understand what's happening. Why is every ball going down the middle? I know. I get you don't want to open up angles, but like, you have to be the aggressor. Otherwise, you're you're literally letting Iga just move you around. Re reluctantly, I must admit your theory is better. Thanks, Ghost. I mean, to be honest, you usually have the better theories, uh, but um, I appreciate you thinking this particular one is better. No suit. You will look like the idiot commentators on TV. Yeah, what do they know? What do they know? You know what it is? This is the people's channel. This is the people's channel, okay? They don't know those, those ex-Grand Slam champions on TV. They don't know nothing. They don't know nothing. They know nothing. The people know what's up. Um, what's this? Theory. Iga knows she can lose any time because Rosario, Rosario serves her like easy balloons. Serves easy to hit like her practice lessons. Could be. Could be. But uh, what do you know? Rosario does not get the hold. And... Uh, and here we are. Rosario doesn't get the hold. Iga takes the first set six games to two. Joseph, actually, you might have, I mean, you're on track to predict the exact score in this match. All right? You're 100% on the, on, the, on the first set. Let's see if you can do it the same thing. Come on, Steven Spill. What's up with the fancy garb? I just told you. I just told you what's up with the fancy garb. You keep talking about the fancy garb. Now, next time, maybe there's no fancy garb. All right? Number one player in the world. I want to look good for the number one player in the world. Big stream. Big stream. I had to make up for the fact we didn't do the Bertini match. So I put on a dress shirt. I'll go back to the black t-shirts. It's, it's not a problem. It's no issue, Jane. No issue. All right. <laughs> you guys are funny. <laughs> Jane Steven is planning a date night. Could be, but I probably wouldn't be running a dress shirt for that. 
So that that isn't that might not be the best theory, Lexi, but it's a good try. Joseph, they bore the hell out of me, corporate shields. <laughs> oh man. That's funny. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Ghost. Now this is a theory. This might be a theory. Now we're talking ghost. Now we're talking. Iga knew I was wearing a dress shirt, flustered her a little bit, and she got broken. Now that's that's theory. Um, you dressed up for ghosty, white on white, very apparition like. That I mean, listen. If I had known Ghost was gonna was gonna make an appearance on the stream, I don't even think a three piece suit would cover. We we would have to invent some some something else. Um, so. All right. Let's see here. Let's see. Guys, thank you for everybody that's watching, sticking along like you guys always do. Um, you know, all the new people that are uh, just stumbling on this channel, do us a favor. Join the Just Laugh family. This is the number one family out there. All right. YouTube, Twitch, um, ESPN. It doesn't matter. This is the number one family that's out there. You hit the subscribe button, you're blood forever. That's how it works, all right? So do yourself a favor, do us a favor, hit that subscribe button, and, uh, and uh, you know, share the channel. Share the channel with, uh, with everybody you know. Why not? You know, especially if you don't like it. If you don't like the channel, definitely share it because then, you know, you can, you can make people watch nonsense and they'll get mad at you and then it'll be a funny thing. Um... All right. Iga's going to start serving first. This is interesting now. So Iga's going to start serving first in the second set, which actually might be an advantage, an advantage for Rosario because a nice early break. She has a, she's up in the scoreboard for the remainder of the set. If she could keep it coming, let's do it. Um, when Iga plays, you're supposed to say Yazda. Done. Done. No problem. Every time she wins a point, I'm going to say Yazda now. Is there a suggestion box? Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely a suggestion box. It's called the comments. You know, just just chuck it on in there, mate. Chuck it on in there. And it, uh, and uh, one of our people will, uh, will get back to you. Um, All right, let's see how we're looking here. Let's see how we're looking. This is an important game of the second set. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta make something happen here. Oh, good body serve there from Iga. Even better return from Azario. Look at Azario being aggressive. Look at Azario being aggressive. Let's go. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. We're gonna get another break. Let's see here. All right, big serve body there from Iga. That's huge. That's huge, 15 all. Yeah, Iga's serve is a... Iga's serve is a problem. Iga's serve is definitely a problem. A little back and a back in exchange. Osario mixing in some slices. Oh, look at Iga stepping up and Osario backing up. And, and Iga, forehand winner. 30-15. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I mean, if Iga starts holding, I mean, it's... it's you got no shot now. Osario's got no shot. Iga starts holding. We're we're in we're in serious. I mean, Azari's in serious trouble because you have no outs left. There y'all. 
My brother is checking my blocked people and he said I have like 76. <laughs> that's funny. That's a that's that might be a record. Shakari down a set point. Wow. That's crazy. I love slam season because it means I get to watch more just slap tennis. Noah, that's what we're here for, bud. You know, that's what we're here for. We're going to try to do as many streams as we possibly can. The U the U S season is usually the best because we're in the same time zone. So we can really pump those out, but um, that's what we're here for, bud. Um, All right, Ego, 40-30 here. Let's see this game point. Ego goes body serve, backhand, angle cross court, and then inside in forehand. A little forehand exchange happening here. Osario trying to use the forehand angle. Oh, too good. Really good cross-court forehand there from Osario. That's huge. Back to Deuce. Back to Deuce. Um, Sakari might lose. That's going to destroy my bracket even more. Love it. Bring the pain. <laughs> All right, another game point here for uh, for Iga. Oh, too good. Too good. That foreign was massive. All right, let's see this game point now. You go serve out wide. Oh, look at this! Look at this. That one missed by by quite a quite a bit there. That that uh, inside out forehand missed there from from Iga and back to back to Deuce and unforced errors. Wow, Iga is pumping on the unforced errors now. All right, serve down the middle there from Iga. Iga goes backhand cross. Oh, inside in forehand from Azario. Iga tries to go for the forehand down the line. No good. Clips the top of the net. And uh, Azario's got a break point, guys. Azario's got a break point. Wow. I mean, if she gets this, it's going to be it's going to be crazy. That would be three breaks in a row from from Azaria. That's unheard of. Actually it is women's tennis. It's not unheard of, but it's it does happen rare. I don't even know how how the Collins match is going. What's going on over there? Let's check the score. Let's see if let's see if Azaria gets the break first. And then we'll check the score. Oh, huge forehand down the line. Good defense from Azario, though. Iga goes back and cross. Loopy shot there from Azario. Iga inside out forehand again. She is she changes direction, gets the net. Oh, she got the net cord winner. Like if there's a player that needs a let cord winner less, it's Iga. Like she's the last person that should get any let court winners. Doesn't need them. That sucks. Oh, Collins is later. Okay. Um, interesting. I don't know, to be honest, that.
I don't know. That's a good match. I mean, my gut instinct is probably Collins, but I mean, it really could go either way. It really could go either way, to be honest. But my my guess is probably Collins. I'd probably lean towards Collins. Um. All right, you guys got game point. He goes like, all right, enough of this, enough of this break, garbage. We need to get a hold here, get on the right track. Oh, nice kick serve there from Iga. The return is no good. Iga gets the hold. And uh, we are on serve in this uh, second set, ladies and gents. On serve. This is so disappointing for Azaria. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what? It could be worse. At least she didn't, you know, at least she didn't get bageled in the first set, which realistically is what should have happened considering she didn't hold once. So it's not, uh, it's all right. A big thing is if she, if she finds a way to hold in this next game, that's huge because then we might have, uh, then we might have a more interesting second set. So this is a big game coming up, big game, but thanks to everybody for watching right now. Appreciate all you guys support. If you haven't already. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button for me because you'll put the biggest smile on my face if you hit that subscribe button. Giant, giant smile. Um, April 2021, while ranked world number 180, Azaria won her first singles title at the Copa Colsanitas in her native Colombia. Huge. Media is reporting Fabio tanking against Kokonakis. I mean, is that really like, is that really like shocking news? You know, it's not like shocking. All right, 15 all. All right, let's get a hold here, Rosario. Let's get a hold. We need a hold bad. We need to hold like we need people to subscribe badly, desperately. <laughs> that's how that's how much we need to hold here. Good serve there. Goes forehand cross. Iga shanks one. And uh, 30 15. All right, there we go. Two points away. Two points away from getting a hold. We can do it. We can do it. Just for the love of God, don't serve to her forehand. For the love of God, give me a kick to the backhand. She goes to the forehand again. She goes to the forehand again. It's a good point, though. Ega now taking control of it. We'll back in a backhand exchange here. Ega opens it up with a backhand angle. Again to the backhand. Ega goes forehand angle now. Oh, this is a good point. Drop shot from Azario. Iga's there. Oh, wow. What? That's interesting. Iga didn't really do much with that ball, even though she was at she was she was there in time. Um, and look at this. Azario has two game points. Wow. Wow. Two game points. And she held. She held. Guys, this is incredible news. Osario held. This is a this is crazy. This is huge, guys. This is absolutely huge. We might have a little bit more of a competitive set here now. That's big stuff. Let's go. Um tanking. Yes. Tanking means when you don't try. Um, Fabio is weird. I don't like Fabio. Guys, wait, how could you guys hate on my boy Fabio? Fabio is hilarious. Come on. He's so funny. And I love watching him play. Also, he's ridiculously talented. When, and 
I mean, he has days when he's on. It's just imp he's impossible to beat. Um, talks a lot for a guy. Reminds me sometimes of Nick. Yeah. Yeah, but I think I think Fabio is probably 26 times funnier than Nick. My personal opinion. But yeah, they, I mean, he he does tend to to chirp a little bit for sure. Um, Fabio should be in a soap opera. I could see it. I could see it. I could definitely see that. All right, Iga's up thirty love in this game right now. Kind of, kind of business as usual here. Just kind of moving the ball around. Osario, just finding herself in these consistently defensive positions, which is not where you want to be. Which is not where you want to be, especially when you're playing Iga. Talks a lot. Check. It reminds you of Keegs. Check. What's not to love? I meant the too much talking. Annoying to watch male players talking to the air. Yeah, that it's basically about like ninety percent of male tennis players. We love to uh, we love to complain. Nobody likes to complain like 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 male tennis players. So. Or honestly, tennis players in general. I feel like tennis players are probably, you know, out of all the athletes, we, uh, we're up there for sure. All right, 45 here. You're looking to hold. Let's see this. Let's see the serve now. Give me an ace here. You got ace up the T. All right. Well, it was up the T, but a little too much slice on it. All right. Back in the back in cross court now. Ego goes with a loopy forehand. Kind of mishit it a little bit. And uh, Osario goes for a slap forehand, misses it. And uh, Ego holds. Ego leads two games to one in this second set, folks. Two games to one. Um, I yell at myself all the time when I play. It's part of the game. It, it kind of is. It kind of is. I forgot which comedian, but somebody made a joke about um, why tennis players and golfers uh, constantly like fist pump. And it's because they're all there by themselves. They're like lonely. You know, they're lonely out there. So we, we need to talk to ourselves so we don't go crazy. Um, all right, here we go. Zarya, let's see it. Let's see it. We need another hold here. If we can get another hold, then we're really talking. What we really need is to get another hold. Zarya, get another hold. Make it two all. And then lose every other game besides that. And then Joseph will look like a genius for predicting it. 6-2, six 6-2. Two, six two. That's what we need. That's the, There's important things and there's less important things. And uh, this is one of those important things. Um, Joseph says golfers have caddies. Yeah, but not, you know, like they do have caddies. That's a good point. But when you're out there and, you, you know, you got that nine iron in your hand. And you got to make that shot. Your caddy's he's way back there. You know, he's way back there. So, you know, I mean, I guess you could say tennis players have their box. But still, it's different. You got to hype yourself up, get the bad thoughts out of your head and just slap some forehands. You, that's. I mean, you might as well be a Grand Slam coach, a Grand Slam winning coach with this advice, Noah. Seriously. I mean, this is this is this is this is perfect. This is exactly what every player needs to hear. 
I only speak in Shakespearean English when I play tennis, doing my part to elevate the game. Fair enough. I picked U.S. to win the United Cup, picked Benchins to win. Okay. Well, you're, you know, you're out here. You're out here. You're out here being a genius. I mean, you might want to share that big, beautiful tennis brain of yours so that, uh, so that we know what's what. All right. Well, 1530 here on the Osario serve. Goes kicks her to the backhand. Iga rips a backhand angle cross court. Now it goes down the line. Osario's there with the forehand. Oh, this is a good rally here. Iga goes forehand down the line. Little, little bit of a lob there attempt from uh, Osario. Oh, Iga goes for the slap down the line. But Osario just grinding it out, man. Just grinding it out. 15 shots. Maybe, maybe that's what Azario needs to do. Let's let's bring it back to 12 and under tennis. Let's just start looping the ball, you know, and uh making Iga do all the work and miss. Why not? That's like the Caroline Wozniacki um strategy. Let's do it. Why not? All right. How are we looking over here? Azario down a break point, eh? All right. Well, it is what it is, I guess. It is what it is. All right, let's see if Vega gets a break here. Oh, wow. Azario's only been to the net twice? That's it? I feel like she's got to be in the net way more if she wants to beat Iga. Oh, double fault? <sighs> that hurts. That hurts. That hurts. Not going to lie to you, that hurts a little bit. What are you going to do? Here's another hot take. Sabalenka wins her first major this year. I could definitely see that happening. I could definitely. What major do you think that's going to be? What do you think her best chances are? Hard court? Um, when I'm in doubt, when in doubt, hit a drop shot. All right, no, you were doing so well with the advice, and now you're telling people hit drop shots. You can't say just slap and then hit a drop shot. We don't we don't hit drop shots on this channel. We just slap. That's it. We just slap. That's all we do. Um Wimbledon. Okay. Yeah, I could definitely see that for sure. That was gonna be my answer. I can definitely see that. Sabalenka looks good for Australian Open right now. You got to make them run. You got to make them run on one ball. That's it. One ball, cross court for an angle, and then you slap it up the line. That's the key to tennis. That's it. It's very, guys, it's really simple. Just hit it where they're not. That's all you have to do in tennis. Wherever they are, just hit it where they're not. Easy. Tennis is such an easy sport. So easy. That's all you have to do. All right. How's Ego, how's Ego looking? Up 30 love? 40 love. Up 40 love now. All right. Seems like it's going to be a comfortable hold here to go up 4-1 in this second set. And uh, Osario's running out of time. You know? Zara's running out of time, but you know what? She uh, she put up a good fight. She put up a good fight. She just needs one more hold. So Joseph's prediction is correct, and and uh, we'll be good to go. 
simple and wise advice. That's, that's what I'm here for. You know what I mean? You don't have to complicate things. You don't have to complicate things. That's it. Just hit it where they're not, you know? Or here's another one, Joseph. You want, you want to hear an even, even better one? On every point, just hit one more ball in than your opponent. That's it. Just hit one more. Easy. If Steven coaches me, I'd probably cry. Dude, you know what's funny? I am not an easy coach to deal with. I'm not going to lie to you. If you don't like to be yelled at, screamed in your face, <laughs> then I'm not your guy. I'm not your guy. Steven, are you seeing any action out on the court yet? Jane, I got a lot of stuff to do here. All right? I got to keep track of the chat. I got to watch the match. Okay? I got to deal with Alex 24-7. I got a lot on my plate here. Let me Give me a second. Let me look at what's going on out there. What's going out there in the, in the jungles? Um, let's see. How are we looking? But isn't it, ra- isn't it raining? Isn't it raining? Aren't they only playing uh, under the roofs? At least that's what I thought. Win the last point. That's it. That's even better, Joseph. That's even better. Just win the last point of the match. That's that's that is awesome. That's it. That you don't need anything else. That's all you need. Just whatever you do, just make sure you win the last point of the match. Brilliant. Just brilliant, mate. Um, let me borrow your tiny violin. Steven needs some pity music. I do. Some pity music would be good. It would be good. How's the center match looking? Um, center's up two sets to love. So we're rocking and rolling on that one. And then... Sakari is up a break in the in the second, which is nice. That's good to see. She's making a little comeback there. All right. Azario down love 30. Ah, oh, come on. We needed one more hold. We needed one more hold. Joseph needs to be Joseph needs to be right in his prediction. Come on. Maybe we get the break. She gets the, she gets broken here, but maybe she gets the break back, Joseph. That's that's going to be our strategy. I mean, she's just double faulting now. I mean, you got to put the serve in. You know, you got to put the serve in. All right, here we go. Love forty. A drop shot attempt. Ega is so there. A lob. Okay. Ega overhead puts it away. And uh, all right. Ega's up 5-1. Guys, Ega is now going to serve for Le Match. How do you say match in French? Partid? How do you say it? I don't speak French. Clearly. All right, uh, we need a break here. It's just a prediction. The other channel, the other channel mock each other for predictions. Listen, Joseph, all I'm hearing is you batting a thousand. All right, that's all I'm hearing. All I'm hearing is you coming out here, just just giving me hundred percent winners. So, how are you going to get mocked if that happens?
It's actually Le Match. <laughs> Um, I hate to say it, Osario isn't breaking. Yeah, that was kind of what my thought was too there, but you know, listen, she held once. At least she held. At least she can, you know, she can go home. You know what I mean? She can, you know, she can put her head on the pillow and be like, you know what? I held once and broke twice, but I held once. And that's the important thing. You know, she didn't get, she didn't get, ba- she didn't get bagel. That's a huge thing when you're playing the number one player in the world, not to go out there and, you know, embarrass yourself and have everybody be mad that they spend money on, on the tickets when you couldn't even get a game. And look at this. She won three games, you know, not bad. It's a decent attempt. You know, what can you do? Oh, slap forehand there from Azario. We need more of those. We need more of those. Come on. Keep the slaps coming. 125 kilometers an hour. That's what I'm talking about, Azari. Azari's like surprised. All right. She's like, all right, I'll take the forehand. I'll take the screaming forehand winner. That's it. All right, here we go. 15 all. Give me something now, Zarya. Give me something. That's a big forehand. Give me another big forehand. That's another big forehand. That's it. Just slap. That's all you have to do. That's literally why this channel is named that. Just all you have to do is know that this channel exists and you will win tennis matches. That's that's it. You don't even have to watch any of the videos. Just know that it exists and you will win tennis matches. Simple. It's almost as easy as just win the last point. It's almost as easy as just win his last point. All right, well, I mean, you got to put the return in. <laughs> you know, like, you got to put the return in. Um, yeah. Jane's over there. Jane's over there singing along. Well, Ozario's got a break point. So what I need, what I really need, is a slap forehand winner. Just give me a slap forehand winner. That's it. Give me a slap forehand winner. You get the break. All right. Joseph, uh, Joseph's correct in his prediction. Iga then breaks you back, wins the match, and everybody can go home happy. Everybody can go home and be like, you know what? Job's done. Job's finished. That's it. That's all you need. Nothing else. Nothing crazy here. Nothing crazy. All right, second serve. Second serve. This is it. Give me a slap. Oh, it goes to the back end. Okay. Eager goes back in the line. Yeah, that's too good. That's too good. There's nothing to do there. Nope. Don't care who you are. You're not going to win that point. That's too good. Kick serve. Beautiful. Nice. Back end down the line. Can't do much. All right. Deuce it is. Deuce it is, folks. Deuce it is. Here we go. Oh, I like it, Azar. Your little, little, little return of the medicine there. Give her some of her own medicine. That's that's awesome. Nice backhand down the line from Azario there for a winner. Let's get this break. Let's get this break. Come on. 
You're crushing it. You're crushing it. Let's get this breakdown. Nice kicks are there. Oh, uh, Ego with a huge forehand short ball. This is it. This is it. How do you miss that short ball? How do you miss that short ball? But she did. She did it. She missed it. Joseph. Joseph. You're a genius. You're a genius. You're a genius. Just absolute brilliance. Like, I mean, you literally predicted the exact score. Incredible. Incredible. Because you know that she's not holding, right? You, Everybody knows she's not holding. Like, I hope you guys know that. She's not going to hold here. Iga's going to get the break and win the match. But amazing. Rosario's playing for Joseph. It's 100% right. 100%. No breadstick. Good for uh, good for Rosario. No breadsticks. No bagels. No breadsticks. Perfect. All right, let's see it now. I mean, you got absolutely no pressure now, you know? She's got no pressure now. She just literally needs to slap everything. She's got no two ducks swimming. That's it. Two ducks swimming. All right, was the second serve now? Let's see it. This is a good point here so far. Wow, forehand unforced error from from Iga. Iga's looking a little shaky. Iga's looking a little shaky there, guys. I don't know. I don't know. She's looking a little bit shaky. Here we go, 15 all. Oh, good serve at the tee there from Rosario. Ego hits a short forehand there, but Rosario returns a favor. Rosario slice on the back and Ego forehand inside in. Another short ball. Iga goes down the line. Winner. Too good. 15-30. Iga is two points. Two points away from winning this match. Guys, thank you for everybody that's watching and has watched and watched and then turned it off. Thank you to everybody. Um, for the people that are watching and you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. We're at 1392, which means that one of our family members decided to abandon the family, which, I mean, they're lost. But, um, yeah, let's try to get to uh, – let's let's try to get a 1400. That would be pretty sick. That would be pretty sick. Sakari up 4-2 in the second. Wow. But even crazier, Joseph, is the fact that Rosario is now up 40-30 in this game and actually might hold again, which is crazy to think about. I mean, that'd be really nuts. Good serve up the tee there. Serves again to... to uh, Iga's forehand. Iga, good loopy forehand there. 
Oh, hits right to her. Oh, couldn't do anything with that volley. And Osario gets the hold. Iga, 5-3 up. Look at Rosario. Rosario. Look at Ozario. Yeah, Osario. Not Zario. I feel like I know her, given her nicknames now. I don't even know. Look at this now. Well, at least she's going to... I mean, Iga has another chance to... Uh, to serve it out here, but maybe we get one of the another Rosario break here. Maybe. You never know. She's getting fired up. She's fired up right now. Here we go. Let's see it. Let's see it, Rosario. Oh, big serve of the tee there from Ego. Short ball, Ego forehand puts it away. Too good. Nice little one-two punch there. Nice little one-two punch. No, uh, sticking to my guns of Ego winning in six. I, you know what? That might be that might be it. I think you're onto something there. I think you're 100 right. I think that might be the prediction, and uh, we'll just have to wait and see. But I think you got it. Oh, look at that. Iga misses that forehand by like what looks to be inches. And uh, it's 15 all. All right, here we go. 15 all. Iga serving for the match. Oh, big serve there. Short ball lands out. 35. Here we go. Ego two points away from the match. Kicks her to the back end. Return is no good. And look at that. Ego's got two match points, guys. Two match points for Ego. See if she gets it done. All right, serves to the body. I guess it was a let. So let me ask you guys a question. Is the Nadal match actually going on a 10, or are there a bunch of matches that need to go on before his match? Or is he going on now? Does anybody know? Because I think he's the next match on... Rod Laver Arena, if I'm not mistaken. So, I don't know. All right, 40-30. You go. You can miss that forehand to the net there. Joseph says, no glitches in the stream today. Yeah, it's because, you know what it is? It's because we went back to the old uh, streaming platform. The reliable streaming platform. But we don't have a lot of features to work with. We need the features. All right, 40-30, match point. Match point for Iga. Here we go. Rosario saved one. Let's see if she can save another.
Oh, beautiful kick serve there from Iga. Even better return from Rosario. Rosario gives a slice. Iga backhand down the line for a winner. Iga takes it. Iga takes it 6-2, 6-3. And you got to give it up for Rosario. You know, you got to give it up for Rosario. It was a great match. But, um, but uh, no, guys, thank you so much. Appreciate all you guys' support. Thank you for joining. We're, I mean, if the Nadal match is going on tonight, we're going to try to do the Nadal match. Um, so look out for that. But um, appreciate you guys' support. Take it easy. And uh, see you next time. Peace.